Hello and thanks again for joining me for another episode of Escape the Pacific. Uh, picking up where we left off last time, we uh, did a bit of a major upgrade to our raft, turned into a major barge. Today we're going to be putting a cabin on there. Um, first of all though, we've got some salt ready here, so we're going to collect that up. I'm going to go over here and grab our bucket. And we're going to come over and drop it down here in the shallow water. And you can see it filling up. We'll wait till it reaches 10 so it's full. Pick it up again. We're going to plonk that down there. We've got our jar over here. So we're going to pick up our salt, put it in the jar. Fill that up again with salt water out of the bucket. And now our jar's already got salt in it, so when we click it this time, it's going to transfer all that salt into our coconut. So we've got to click it twice. Fill that up with water. Pick that one up. Click it twice. One takes it out. One, the other click puts it back in. Fill that up with salt water. Uh, salt water. Double click. Fill that up with salt water. Plunk it down. Uh, that one's not ready yet. That one. Grab that one. We'll just do the same with the rest of these. This one. Alrighty. So our jar's full. Our bucket's empty. Go and put that back. If you've still got salt water in it, don't forget to empty it out. And then you can put it back in. We'll, uh, up our jar here and salt all this bird meat. Some of this fish as well. That's all of our salt. Plonk that back down. Alrighty, so, bring out our hammer, what we're going to do now is start building the foundations of our cabin, we're going to start in this corner here, I'm going to hit B, I'm going to unfavorite all of these, now we're going to be using the single pillars, you can use any one of these, we don't want to use the half ones, I'm going to go with the robust one, which is a thick branch, in the past I've been using the trunk ones, but I find that sometimes they take up a bit, a bit too much room with the hitbox walking around them. So we're going to favourite that. So now if we hold down B, it's up here. So I'm going to plonk one there. I'm going to step back a bit. We're going to plonk one there. Plonk another one there. Pop one there. One more there. And 
one there, and we'll put two more. Sometimes you've got to walk around a bit to try and get the right position. Alrighty, so now we'll go and get some thick branches. Can only carry three at a time. So we'll jump up here. The sun is starting to set and we're getting a little tired, so we may have to have a nap pretty soon. But uh, we'll keep going. As long as we can here. Get a bit, bit worn out. Can't quite jump up there. Okay, pick up a couple more. Never drop things on your raft while you're out on the water. It will cause some major problems with the physics and probably sink your boat. And if you do ever drop stuff on your raft, don't forget that it's there before you sail off. Make sure you pick it up. So I'll hammer these in. Okay, so that's the pillars of our cabin. It's in a little L shape. We're going to put a ladder up here, get up onto roof access. So now we're going to hit B again. We'll go into floors and roofs. Untick all of these. I'm just going to stick with the robust one. So we can hold down B. And there it is there. Pop that one there. that one there just move over a bit plunk that one in pick up this branch here pop that in go pick up a couple more uh, they're long sticks they belong over in this pile over here. So grab three. Pop one in there. One in this one. Drop this one here. Pop out our hammer again. Smack these into position. this one this one all right that's our basic framework we'll use that trunk in a moment uh, we're going to go over here now pick up some of our planks that we got from those chests that we could break down now this is not going to be enough to do all of our all of our whole cabin but it'll be a start, we'll get a roof on and maybe a couple of wall sections. And you can use other things, you can use grass and sticks and whatever. But uh, we're going to go back into floors. So if we untick all these, just a plank. We could use a stick one. You see here, the... Uh, this is basically what sort of insulation or protection it gives you from and it gives you a little tiny bit of protection from the sun none from water none from wind because if we go over here okay these are the plank ones so i can get my mouse off of that 
I can't really, but so, and you've also got lightning. So, uh, we're going to do this one. Takes more planks than that one, but uh, it'll be a bit better. Pop that in. hammer it in okay so we'll do the same over here pop in our planks Hammer that one in. Alrighty, one more. Pop our planks in there. Okay, so it is a floor, but it will act as, as shelter for a roof. And later on, we'll, uh, we'll build a bit of stuff up on top of there too. So now we're going to put in, we don't have that many planks, put in some walls. So we just pick up the rest of these. Alrighty, so got a few options here. We've got these walls, and of course you could do, you know, other sorts. The planks are the best ones, followed by the uh, the grass. But uh, we don't have any tall grass here. We'll do the planks. I'm going to do the. You've got a lower quality one and a better quality one. I'm not actually going to do the full wall. We're going to go to openings instead. And we're going to do a window. It takes less planks. And we can put a little shutter in there that opens and closes later on. I'm going to pop that in here. I'm going to hit Q to turn it around. Now I don't know that it makes a difference in the game. But if you're doing cladding in real life. You want this, you want each plank, the top plank to be overlapping the one underneath it on the outside, which is this little section is going to be outside. So that way the, the rain will hit the top one and it'll flow down and it'll keep flowing down. So I don't know if that's actually built into mechanics in the game or whether it's just for looks. But uh, we'll put the outside of the wall on the outside. <laughs> Excuse me. Alrighty. So we don't have that many planks left. We've got, let me see, 11. So what we'll do is we'll put a doorway here. And once again, we've got two qualities. We'll put the better quality one here. Going to put that at the front. Press Q. Turn that around. Pop our planks in there. Later on, we can actually put a door in that space that we can close and open. Gonna bring out our hammer. Give that a whack. Alrighty, 
already. So basically like this is the middle of our raft. So we can come out the middle here and we can sit down here and we can sail, see where we're going. And um, so we can sort of see a bit through that window. Once we put another wall up here with the window, I don't know, we'll see all the way through there, but, but, uh, all right, so we've only got three planks left, it's not really enough to do anything else worthwhile, so we're going to pop them in our crate, and the reason we're going for the high quality ones, we could have done low quality ones and done a few more pieces, um, but then later on when we want to upgrade it we'd have to dismantle those and dismantling stuff on your raft can be disastrous when stuff falls on it and you know if you've got anything lying around loose on your raft that you didn't see like this thick branch that i left here once you go sailing that'll cause all sorts of problems with the physics just going to pick up a couple of sticks here yeah, and anything loose rolling around on, on your raft, even the tiniest thing, will uh, can cause your raft to actually break, uh, not break, sink. So, back into uh, walls, I'm going to pop in a, a ramp, and it'll slot into place there, add these sticks to it. Grab our branch, pop that in, give that a smack. Alrighty, so the ramps are not like best, you don't automatically go up them all the time, sometimes you've got to hit jump which is not the best, but we're now up on our roof. So what I do up here and I'm falling asleep so we don't want to pass out we'll go and have a nap we will just sleep till we've rested not all the way to sunrise so it'll still be night time but uh, at least we won't be falling asleep stars are still out now these stars are supposed to be pretty accurate in this game I've heard that uh, you can find proper constellations. Now, we are in the Pacific. I'm not sure if we're North or South Pacific. So, I think at a later date, I'm going to see if I can find the Southern Cross. I'm not sure if that's in the game here or not. But, uh, if we're... In the south of the Pacific, then uh, we should be able to see the Southern Cross. And if we can see the Southern Cross, then I will show you how we can uh, how you can navigate by the stars in real life. Now, I want some fire sticks here, so we're going to grab four of these. I'm going to go over to our chest here where we've got some dry grass. I'm just going to grab one of those. I'm going to pop these up here. Uh, I've got a rock pile. I'm going to pick up three small rocks. Pop that in our bag. And we also want a couple of small sticks. Pop them in our bag. And we want our bucket. It's actually got some water in it. We'll uh, collect our water while we're here. So we need, we're going to build a build a fire up on the roof so we're going to use our bucket for sand so just while we're here just 
kell ilyen óra. Might, might get a bit more water in there uh, over the rest of the night. Alright, so I'll take this over. Yeah, when you add fresh water to water that's going bad, it will sort of even out the freshness of it. Not a great deal. You can see the little green line starting to creep up. It's still at 20, so it's still drinkable. Yeah, the first click is going to fill up our bucket. The second click is going to put it all from the bucket back into the barrel, and you can see the little line move just a smudge down. So now our bucket's empty. I'm going to point down to the ground and just click, and now we've got a bucket full of sand. So we're going to hop up here and going to hit C into tools going to do an indoor campfire and we're going to plonk it in this corner here we're going to use our bucket on it so that fills it up with sand pop that down there for a moment and don't forget that we put it there all right so we'll add our rocks now it does say small carving rock you can use small carving rocks but any small rock will do now we want our fire sticks and oh, got to add the last fire stick then we'll add our small sticks two small sticks and finally add our grass that's the kindling so, I mean, we're probably not going to be doing much cooking on here. But what I use the fireplace for is to hold salt and salt production. So, let's uh, hold down our mouse button and empty out the sand. We'll put our bucket back. And now if we run over here, we pick up one of these. And every one of these rocks on here is a a cooking spot. And we can sit these on here. They will stay put while we're sailing. We can also put one in the middle up on the top. For now, I'm going to leave them down here because we're six days in. We haven't had any rain yet and we've due some rain. So I'm going to leave it under the shelter. Uh, that's going to do it for this episode um, we will put a roof up on there later on uh, but we need to find ourselves some more planks so that's what we're going to do in the next episode is we're going to go for a bit of a ride and check out some more islands see if we can find some more planks and maybe a couple more barrels and crates but uh, that's it for now. So if you did enjoy this episode, please leave me a like or a comment down below. If you're new here and you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, this is a full series, a full playthrough. So I do have a playlist of this series on the channel. If you'd like to watch from the beginning to see how we got from here to, to where we are now. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.